Hello, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to talk to you about IE8 and specifically accelerators. What are they? Why would I use them? How do I do it? We're going to do that with the help of my puppet theatre, in this case Dom. There he is now, cribbing answers from Stack Overflow and wishing he owned that Della Damo. Now let's imagine Dom has a girlfriend, and she's asked him to get stuff for dinner. It's Faita night. So he can pack himself off to Tesco, which he doesn't mind doing, it's a bit of fresh air after all. But before we get into the ins and outs, it's probably important to understand what the marketing babblers have to say about accelerators. Now, I just need to find a marketing person. Um, so we, we talked to the agency, they told us what we should, we should really do. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, There's something about three pillars yeah. of development. Okay, so Dom is now inside Tesco, being a hunter-gatherer, and it takes ages. He's got to wander around the whole shop to find what he needs. Sometimes that's okay, but sometimes you just want to get in and then get out. And mix those margaritas. Nice one, Dom. It'd be so much more useful if all the products he needed for a meal just came to him from on one shelf, just waiting for him to grab them all. Even better if they just handed themselves to him. If you've not used IE8, this is a very faithful depiction of the UX. The marketing team had it made for you. Okay, so times are hard. This is just a gratuitous person placement shot for Tesco. That's Nick Lansley. He's a great guy, a good sport. Anyway, as Dom slumbers and doesn't realise this is a dream, we can break down the requirements with the help of the magic whiteboard. It's a doddle. An accelerator is just a piece of XML that has a few standard options to create a well-formed URL and then pushes the user to a landing page or has a preview page. Essentially, you just grab the selected text, amongst other things, from the screen and push it out to a URL so you can do some processing with it. Then, to add an accelerator to a page, you can just call a piece of JavaScript pointing at the XML and away you go. Build an accelerator might only take a short amount of time and still have a great effect. If you're looking for inspiration, there's a bunch of them in the gallery you can find here. Now you really want to know more, don't you? Well, you can take a look at Mike O's useful Bluffer's Guide to Web Slices, Accelerators and Visual Search, which covers the basics of the three pillars of IE8 development. Or head over to the official development site here. And that's it. Sweet electric dreams, gang.